Their acting is cringeworthy. Oh my god. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst movie actors. Was I supposed to just come on, Dad? For this list, we're looking at movie actors and actresses who have proven themselves not particularly skilled at their craft. Hey, I was a big kid, but I still get whooped every day. The fact that they may have also had a few good or entertaining performances does not preclude them from being a part of this list. Trust me, everybody's gotta go. For the record, we're not saying we think these are the worst actors ever, but we understand why people do. Wish me luck. Number 10, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> After debuting in the underseen sports movie Blue Chips, for which he was nominated for a Razzie, Shaq's acting aspirations have continued to lead him to some truly awful cinema. Kazam! Like fellow basketball player Dennis Rodman, Shaq made several attempts at acting in major motion pictures, only to fail pretty much every time. In high school, I finished second in a long jump. As the latest actor to hitch his wagon to Adam Sandler's gravy train, with roles in Jack and Jill, Grown Ups 2, and Blended, it seems like we'll have several more mediocre Shaq screen moments to look forward to. And if I had to spend another 5,000 years in a lamp, a compass, or even a stupid boombox, I wouldn't care. Number 9, Polly Shore. Far too much responsibility for me anyways. I'm already popular. A comedian who gained mainstream exposure after becoming an MTV VJ. Chilling on MTV, bud. Polly's first starring role was as a part of Encino Man. And in an ideal world, that would have been the end of it. I'm not a geek. I'm a unique <laughs> weasel, David. Everything he made after that stretched the one-note persona that he had created to its absolute limit. Well, now's your chance. Let's see what you got. In the Army Now or Biodome, anyone? Eventually becoming a punchline, Polly seemingly never met a script he didn't like and never gave a performance that critics did. If you're edge because I'm wheezing on your grind, it's just chill. Because if I had the whole Brady Bunch thing happen at my pad, I'd go grind over there. So don't tax my gig so hardcore, Cruster. Number eight, Tara Reed. No, I told you not to cop. Seen as vapid and surface deep, Tara Reid has become the personification of the blonde stereotype in the years that followed her early promising career. That's none of your business. First coming to prominence with roles in The Big Lebowski and American Pie, Tara was poised to take Hollywood by storm, but instead has become notorious for her horrible performances and plastic surgery. It was a really immature stunt. Apparently willing to take virtually any role offered to her, there is little reason to believe she will rebound even after starring in the cult film Sharknado and its sequel. Just go away! Take your little stripper friend and bad leave! Number 7, Tom Green. Ding dong! Ding dong! This Canadian prankster lived the dream of anyone with dreams to make it in the film industry. After his TV show was picked up by MTV, he moved on to the big screen and won several awards. I have to say, Starfish, that I am honored. Honored to see that you've taken an interest in my work. Unfortunately for him, a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actor doesn't have the same ring to it as an Academy Award. Yeah, I just bloomed late. There are also his Stinker's Bad Movie Awards, which clearly don't compare to blockbuster entertainment trophies. For your information, this is me being creative. The fact that he is seemingly in on the joke of just how terrible he is doesn't make his cinematic achievements any better. I sold my cartoon for a million dollars! Number six, Hulk Hogan. Yes. You'd think that being a professional at fake fighting would serve as the perfect background to a career faking emotions. Forget it. But in Mr. Hogan's case, that has been proven to absolutely not be the case. You're just a wrestler. What? Who told you? Over the top and cartoonish in every role, the Hulkster, despite his crossover popularity in the 80s, was never able to make a significant dent at the box office. I won't be around when this check clears. He may have said his prayers and eaten his vitamins, but maybe along the way he should have taken a few acting classes too. There's a new Santa in town, and I know if you've been naughty or nice. Number five, Madonna. Anthony! An entertainer who has managed to stay relevant for several decades, Madonna's attempts and failures at acting in major motion pictures have lasted nearly as long. That's what I do. I f 
She had her first starring role in the late 70s indie flick A Certain Sacrifice and has continued appearing in movies in the new millennium, but she doesn't seem to get the hint that nobody wants to see her act, and frankly that she's just plain bad at it. I'm hard to resist. A five-time winner of the Razzie for Worst Actress, Madonna is the perfect example of why singers shouldn't try to cross over to the acting world and keep acting if they evidently lack the ability. You are a mongrel dog, a hybrid of something dark, disgusting, and tiny! Number four. Jamie Kennedy. I. After a standout performance as Randy Meeks in Scream, this Hollywood lightweight is no longer on the way up. Instead, he's fallen hard and he's become a joke. Don't be hating. If films like Malibu's Most Wanted and Kickin' It Old School are considered some of his best work, there can be no doubt that he belongs on this list. Guys, this is serious. We need to win this contest. When you then remember that this man is also the star of the cinematic abomination known as Son of the Mask, it's not surprising Kennedy's got to be near the top of this list. Me? I ain't opposed to shoot. I got a PhD, oppose a hater degree. Come on, quit fronting. I ain't fronting. This is my sizzle, for rizzle, my nizzle. Stop it! Number three, Kristen Stewart. Did you follow me? The bread and butter of any professional actor is their ability to emote. Yet somehow, this stone-faced actress, who seems perpetually bored, managed to anchor one of the most successful franchises in years. I don't really like the rain. Any cold, wet thing, I don't really... On the bright side, Kristen Stewart is quite adept at staring blankly and running her hand through her hair. It's just too bad that real humans don't express emotions solely through those means. Are you afraid? Sharing multiple scenes with another actor who was on the cusp of inclusion in this list, Taylor Lautner, Kristen still manages to outdo him by doing absolutely nothing at all. I'm not really supposed to say anything about it. Oh, hey, I can keep a secret. Number two, Paris Hilton. Lip balm, I dropped my stupid lip balm. Famous for being the great-granddaughter of a hotel baron and the star of a sex tape, the obvious next step for Paris Hilton's career was to begin acting, said nobody ever. I, I know, I feel the same way. Another multiple Razzie winner, she cemented her position in history by winning the award for Worst Actress of the Decade in 2010. Okay, this is getting kind of creepy. Should Paris be allowed to act again? even managing to play herself poorly in the bling ring, Miss Hilton has no business reading a script. Well, it's my turn to shine. Let alone attempting to bring one to life. I think that a life without orgasms is like a world without flowers. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. What was I supposed to do? What did you want me to do? Just tell me you love me, pussy. There's duct tape downstairs. Go downstairs and get the duct tape. I can't move. Come on, man. I can't it's move. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's gonna be okay. Um. Well, I should be going. Cause uh. It's so good to love someone so much it hurts. I don't know how people survive this. Honestly. You're scaring me. Number one. Tommy Wiseau. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! The only person to make the cut based solely on a single performance, Tommy Wiseau is so epically terrible in the room that placing him first wasn't only a no-brainer, but imperative. Get out my house. I kill you, I'll bring him in full hey, An enigma whose history remains a mystery to this day. One thing about Tommy is clear. He starred in a film that he thought was akin to a Tennessee Williams play. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. But did such a bad job at it that both his acting skills and the film have instead become the punchline of many a joke. I'm tired. I'm wasted. I love you, darling. Do you agree with our list? It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. Who do you think is the worst movie actor? Therefore, I'm sure you realize what I'm capable of doing to you if I have to. For more film top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I hate them!
CD slap mount. Yeah, man. CD slap mount. It's the new car CD player slap mount. The product that everyone's talking about. CD slap mount. <laughs> yeah, man. CD slap mount. Go buy one. See.